Hey guys, John here, Vapor Running Technologies. Today we're gonna see if soda blasting, dry soda blast can remove paint off of a fabricated part. So here we go. Okay guys, after blasting here, we are at 60 PSI blasting pressure on the dry soda blast. And I just left some paint for you to see. That removed paint very, very quickly. Now, powder coating will probably be a different story rather than paint. But again, dry soda blast will definitely remove paint. Will remove carbon from a cylinder head. Um, it will remove grease and grime from engine parts. We've been showing that off. Uh, but this is a great example. This is a fabricated metal part that we make in the back. And we painted this part, not powder coat. And I just wanted to see how quickly. The, the really interesting, awesome thing here is I noticed that it's not touching or damaging the substrate um, like traditional blasting medias would in a wet blast or another dry blast cabinet. So if not damaging or not touching the substrate is a concern of yours, then dry soda blast would definitely work. Um, because again, you can see the press brake lines here from the die and it didn't even touch those. I know for a fact, if I do this in another dry cabinet for an abrasive or even a wet blast cabinet with any of our abrasives, it would definitely probably remove that, that definitive line there from the press brake. So, um, just a little bit of helpful information for you. If you have questions, call or email the sales team. They're always here and happy to help. As always, thanks for watching.